Hey girls, hello, hello. I think I'm on the right page, I am. <laughs> am I on the right page? Say hey when you hop on. I am in a craft event. Hi, Andrea. Hi, girls. Okay, so I'm just gonna find myself here on the computer real quick and then I will get started. Hi, Meg. So let me know if you're new here. Um, be sure and tell me if you came from Crafty Peeps page, where you came from, all those things. Hi, Andrea. Hi, Meg. Hi, Jessica. Hi, girls. I know, Meg. Like, like three times in one day. Hi, Maria. Okay, so we're doing the Crafty Community, Crafty Creators Community. Got it. Got it. Hi, Vanessa. Okay. So, I am Tracy May. Hi, Rhonda. Girl, I owe you so big. <laughs> Hi, Misty. Hi, Tanya. Hi, Judy. Hi, you guys. Hello, Miss Noelle. God, I missed you guys. I haven't seen you for so long. Okay. So, I have totally changed up uh, what I was going to do. So, um, when we were on earlier, we talked about doing a wreath. Hi, Jen. Hey, girl. Oh, I missed somebody. Hi, Tammy. Hi, Lily. Miss Judy. Hi, Dawn. Hi, Sherry. Hi, Pam. Hi, Sue. Hi, Christine. Hi, girls. Okay. Hello, Miss Ada. So, I totally changed up uh, what, what I was going to do tonight, but I think you guys are going to love it. Hi, Shannon. Hi, Kathy. Um... So we're, it's a flower thing, and um, I liked Crafty Peep, you guys. I've never watched her before, and um, she kind of was a lot like me, I think. So if you guys didn't get to watch her, um, make sure and go back and watch her. Miss Deanne, no pink tonight, girl. No pink. Hi, Lynn. Hi, Sandra. Hi, Marilyn. Hi, Joy. Okay, so it's a flower night, and you guys know that... Um, if anything, I do nothing fast, right? So I have an hour, so I prepped just a tiny bit. Hi, Chris. Hi, Melinda. Hi, Connie. Crafty Peep sent you over. Yay! <laughs> Deanne, you dork. <laughs> you dork. Hi, Carol. Hello from North Carolina. Let me know if y'all are new here. Let me know if y'all are new. Let me put my glasses on because I'm starting to struggle to see. Hi, Tammy. Hi, Joanne. Hey, Mickey. Hi, Tanya. Welcome, you guys. If you guys are new and you like me, you might want to wait till the end. Let You know, make sure. But if you touch my nose and you touch these buttons over here. Hi, buddy. Hi, Joy. If you touch these buttons, um, you can follow. Hi, Gina. Hi, Gail. You've seen me, but you're new. Welcome. Welcome. Hi, Kathy. Okay. So, um... You guys, I just looked at my computer. Welcome, Kim. Oh, thank you, Deanne, for the stars for no pink. Welcome, Kim. Hi, Hannah. Um, I just looked at my computer and I'm like, wait, that's not what I'm wearing. And it was the video from earlier today. <laughs> I was like, wait, that's not me. Oh, it's the last episode? Girl, I gotta binge that because I quit watching it like three episodes in. Hi, Connie. Welcome. Hi, Jenny. Hi, Mary Girl and Hannah. Okay, so I think I've got my computer figured out. So Christy is after me um, with Christy's, Christy's Craft Cottage, and she, I will put um, her link in when we get towards the end. Hi, Nora. Hi, sweet friend. Hi, Sandra. Hi, you guys. Okay, so we are gonna make something fun. I, I was trying to think you know me outside the box. Um, she decided I'm her date, Shannon. Hi, Sheila. Hi, Cheryl. Hello, Miss Regina. Girl, you're going to be here in a few days, right? <laughs> okay, so I, I needed to think out the box, but I had to stay with flowers. And this was the first time I've been invited to do this. Um, and you guys know it's been a long time since I've done an event, um, at least a year. So, um, hi, Michelle. Hi, Karen. So, um, I was trying to think outside the box, but I didn't like know how, how outside the box I could go. Cause I don't really know these guys very well. Hi, Amy. So, um, 
here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna make some flowers. And uh, I have three different size flower cutouts. Now, you guys, you don't have to have a wood cutout to do this. You can, um, you can, Joy, I don't, I just cut them for tonight. Hold on, you guys, I have to throw something at my dog. If you're new here, when she barks, I just throw things at her. <laughs> and her daddy's in the house now, so I don't know why she's barking. Um, they're not in the store. I just cut them out, but you guys can find these flowers everywhere. And if you can't find them, you guys cut them out of cardboard. Once I'm done, you're going to know why. You can just do cardboard. <laughs> Hi, Felicia. Sonia, girl, hey. Okay. So um, let me do something real quick here. So I'm excited to welcome all you new people. Da, 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 da. Hold on, let me get my computer. So honestly, cut them out of cardboard, you guys. They'll be so they're it, they'll just look the same. Actually, they may even be cuter. I like to use cardboard. Um, but I wanted to make them a little extra special since you know I'm new here. So um, okay. So I've got these and I, if you follow me, you know that I love, um, she is our mascot. She's, I, Miss Gail, you are the only person that has her, um, her mouse pad. I'm just telling you. Hi, Doreen. Hi, Melissa. Hi, Brenda. Okay, so I love these little stacky pads, you guys. Um, I cannot get enough of these. And I love them because I can pull out all the papers and they match. So um, I get a lot of them on scrapbook.com. I don't have any affiliation, but they have really cute stuff. Um, hi, Lisa. So what I did, let me see, where did that one book go? Let me, oh, so the book that I pulled out of most of the stuff, so I'm doing turquoise and yellow tonight. Um, and I have a, a thing where I usually pick three or four colors and those are the colors that I use within my craft because it helps it look just more cohesive. So this is the one I use tonight. It's called Honey Bee Stamps, and it's the bee's knees. And if you type this in, you can find it. Um, whatever colors, Hobby Lobby has stuff, everything. So I've got my paper. So what I'm going to do is, um, and I gotta show you guys this one because it is so cute with the little bees. Isn't that sweet? Hi, Mandy. Hi, Jennifer. Hi, Logan. Okay, so I'm going to cut it out, and I'm going to try to say... Oh, I did prep a little bit. I, I painted the back sides, you guys. I painted the back sides. So, um, so why doesn't everybody tell me where you're from, since a lot of you are new? And then uh, maybe my Sunshine Girls can also welcome you in. Hi, Jane. Hi, Laura. Okay, so um, I try to say hello to everybody. If I miss you, just make sure and say hello to us, and um, we will, somebody will say hello, and I'll come back and say hello later. Okay, so I'm going to cut that one out first. Okay, so let's see. I've got a turquoise. Mm, I like the polka dot. Let's do the polka dot. So all I'm going to do is just cut out or just trace each one of my flowers, which I could have prepped that too, but then I figured, well, what if I ran out of things to do? <laughs> Hi, Amanda. Okay. So I'm just going to do these. So that's what I've got. So let's do, uh, Let's do this one. And you guys, this is old Stampin' Up! paper. Like, like really old. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to grab my little one. And all I did on the back was I just painted the three colors I'm going to use. Now, if you were cutting your flowers out of cardboard, or let's say like the metal, you know, the metal sheets from Dollar Tree, um, you could put paper on both sides. You could put paper on both sides. Hi, Dodie. 
um, and it would look adorable. So, all right, let's cut our stuff out. Now, um, if Crafty Peep is on here, not on her name, I, I did not catch her name, but I will tell you guys a little bit about me. Hi, Belita. Hi, Paula, Rainy in Missouri. Hi, Jody. I mean, Karen. Hi, Karen. <laughs> Ed, are you online? Hi, Kelly girl. Where have you been? Kelly, your granddaughters are a freaking adorable. Adorable. Um, I saw them in there going to their daddy, um, daddy and daughter dance. Oh my gosh. Hi, Ida. Hi, Linda. Welcome. Okay. So, you guys, these don't have to be perfect. I actually like if they're not perfect. Um, and I'm going to sand them on the edges anyway. So, it doesn't really matter because we don't like perfect. Hi, Dawn from Missouri. Hi, Brenda. You guys, what is her name? What is her name? <laughs> Hi, Jennifer. The scrapbook booklet you showed earlier today. Which one, Judy? Oh, yes, Judy. Yes, I know what you're talking about. The one I said uh, for the pink that I thought about using for the bunnies. Yes. I can take a picture of it and send it to you too. I can take a picture. So if you guys don't know, uh, Mr. Ed is not a horse. <laughs> he is my, uh, he is my fiance person. He's my person. I saw that, Regina. I was waiting for her to get on here before I started telling everybody. Welcome, Jennifer. Yes, girl, I will show you uh, which one it is. It's sitting over here, but I stacked them all up, so I can't grab it. So I was waiting for her to get on. Her name is Tammy. Okay. <laughs> I have been known to sing. I have been known to sing. Only one time did Facebook shut me down because they thought I was actually Kelly Clarkson. <laughs> She's on now? Okay. So, um, I've been crafting for as long as I can remember. Uh, and my girlfriend and I started a kind of a business together. Hi, Grace. Um, I'm from Olympia, Washington. I'm from Olympia. Um, so we kind of started a thing together and um, then we kind of had a falling out. It wasn't, I mean, we're still friends. We've been friends for a long time, but it's just, it was just, you know, doing business together. I had a full-time job, which I still do. She didn't. She was doing more work. It was just, it was a hard situation. So, so she uh, kind of kept the name. Y'all know I love pink, and she kind of kept that name. So I had to find a different name. And this was in, oh, about 2015, I think. Um, I have another page that I've never touched that I made in 2012, 11 or 12, and I've never done anything with it. I don't know why. But, um, so I started this page after I picked the name, um, in 2015 and I never touched it until, uh, 2020. So, um, I didn't, I loved flowers and I love peonies, right? Okay. So I wanted to be like pink peony, um, that was taken, um, all those things, right? I just couldn't find the right name. And one day... Uh, Mr. Ed and I were garage sailing and I, I still, I still remember that day we were garage sailing and, um, 
we were kind of, the house was kind of at the end of a street and there was like kind of farmland around there. And hi, Barb, hi, Angie, hi, Christy. And um, we were walking back to our car and there was this huge field of daisies. Okay, now I love daisies too. So I went over and I wanted to take a picture of the daisies. So, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and Mod Podge these on while I'm talking or I will never get done. Um, so I went over to take a picture of the daisies. So amongst these daisies was, um, was a few dandelions. And I don't know how it came about, but I thought these dandelions are, are in this field of daisies. And somebody would come and say, oh look, there's a weed in this field of flowers. And the dandelions were just as pretty as the daisies. And I thought, you know, that's what I do. I see a dandelion and I know it's a flower. So that is how the name came about, is that I like to take things that other people may see as garbage or not pretty or have no potential and make it into something that you love. So that is where picking dandelions came from or dandelion picking. So um, I still have that picture. It was the first picture that I ever put on the page um, and I believe it's still in the photo album. So it just kind of grew from there and when I so, um, I've always done crafts and I've redone furniture and that kind of thing. And so when 2020 happened, right, um, like a lot of you, things changed and I actually, so in March of 2020, things changed. Hi, Rachel. Hi, Cindy. Um, so as I do this, you guys, I'm just going to let these sit for a minute and put them aside and work on the other one. Um, dandelion wine. So when 2020 hit, I started spending more time online and, um, I realized there was this whole craft world out there. And so I was turning 50 in June and we had all of these, um, my mom and I were going to do all of these things and Ed and I were going to be camping all summer and just all of this stuff. We were supposed to go to Round Top. We had our tickets for Round Top. Um, we always go to Vegas for Mother's Day. Uh, you know, just all the things when you turn 50. And then COVID happened. So watching the crafting and I ended up going on a week long um, camping trip by myself well, with my dog so really not by myself but um and I just I did a lot of reflecting and my whole life I have been a crafter um and that's a whole story for another day how I can why I know how to take something from nothing and um I thought you know why not me I am 50 years old I'm a grown-ass woman I can do whatever I want but I still have to keep my day job. So um, I went in full force, y'all. The first time I came live was July 29th. Um, and I went live for six months, six months straight. I went live. I went live every night. Um, I went live when there was nobody watching me. And I basically had a conversation with myself. Um, I'm, I would text my friends. I'd be like, you guys, come watch me. Somebody come talk to me. <laughs> I was like, come talk to me. Come talk to me. And they were amazing. They were amazing. And they showed up. And I learned how to pretend somebody was there and just talk. <laughs> and so, oh, guys, I put that one on the wrong side. Oh, well, we'll just paint that other side. Um and here I am. I still have my full-time job and it's hard and um and I do I do struggle and I do want to quit, but 
uh, you know, things the way they are, it's hard. And so, you know, I struggle with not being able to do all the things and do enough and all that stuff, but I wouldn't change anything I've done. I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't change it. I've met amazing people um, that I've met in person, um, people that I have become very good friends with um, that I've never met, um, that I know like if something happened, they would be there. So it's just amazing community and I don't think I've met a crafter I didn't like. Thank you, Meg. So that's how I'm here. That's how I'm here. I do like to sing. I'm definitely a hot mess. Um, I never have my stuff together. I'm always missing something. Uh, Maya's usually barking. And there's all that. <laughs> okay, so I also have, now I'm not gonna tell you guys exactly what I'm doing because it's all gonna come together. But um, somebody keep me on time though. See, it's already 22. I have three uh, spools. They're kind of vintagey looking spools. Thank you, Judy. It's the fat. The fat makes the wrinkles not there. Just saying. <laughs> I am not kidding. I am not kidding. <laughs> okay. I did. Did I turn my glue gun on? No. Okay. So I didn't turn my glue gun on. So we're going to improvise here for a, a minute. So I'm going to take, let's see. I'm just going to take this little piece of tape that came off. All right. And I'm going to I'm going to take, so I have some turquoise. Again, I really choose three or four colors and I go with them. That way I don't have to guess if they're going to match. Um, and I love turquoise and yellow. So, hi, Ellen. Hey, girl. <laughs> Thanks, Jen. Well, thank you, Deborah. You guys are just awesome. Regina, a little bit, a little bit. In the first place I lose is in my top, which is really all I care. I just want my shirts to fit. <laughs> no, you guys, it is. It is true. Extra fat is like collagen. I'm not even kidding. I'm not even kidding. So I'm just wrapping this around, you guys, to make it look like it has, um, it has some, some thread on it. I am strong. I am beautiful and I am enough. Everybody say that because everybody is. Um, and we need to remember that. And um, my coach, she helps online and that kind of thing, said something to me one day. And to anybody that um, is online crafter especially, um, it has totally resonated with me. Um, and I try to practice it every day and believe it. Um, and I am silly. <laughs> Ellen will attest for that, y'all. Ellen was my lifesaver at one point. Sweet Ellen. Um, when I got divorced in 2012, and then I'll go back to, I don't even remember what I was talking about. Um, I, um, I do, I do get off of course, you guys, just saying. So uh, in 2012, when I was getting a divorce, I hadn't had a job in a while. I'd been a stay-at-home mom. And um, I was kind of just left to figure it out. And so one of my friends, Debbie, uh, said, hey, we're hiring for some temporary work here at the state. And I was like, okay, <laughs> okay. Um, and so I went down and... Uh, Miss Ellen was her and Miss Kathy, who is a very good friend as well. Okay, so I'm gonna just leave this one, you guys, until my glue gets good to go. Uh, I could do a pen. I guess I could do a pen in it for right now, if I had a pen. Um, so I went in there and, cause I'm just gonna set that one aside. I went, it's coming apart. I went in there and I said, she said, why should we hire you? And I said, in my best voice, I started bawling. And I said, because I have nowhere else to go. And they hired me. 
and uh, I still work for the state. Yep, and they we became very good friends, and Ellen is a quilter. She does amazing stuff. Okay, so this is just some really cute yellow kind of uh, rick-racky looking ribbon, which would have been really cute on my egg earlier today. Um, so she hired me, and then here I am. <laughs> so it is a true story. It is a true story. That job, so so when I posted my reel the other day about, about being sad about never being able to go into an office again, um, it was actually, there was some reality to it because I had the most amazing coworker. She made me laugh every day, which was, which was all I needed. So, I mean, I could not wait to get to work, to be with people. And yeah, it was, it was really cool. Now, if somebody could tell me what I was talking about a second ago that I stopped and totally squirreled. And if you guys have any questions about what I'm doing, just yell at me. Just, just holla. Oh, Benita. Wait, Kelly. Oh, yes, Rachel. Yes. We love you, Miss Rachel. You'll be okay, girl. All right, so let's fix this one. I definitely believe that God brings people into our our world you know oh I was telling you what she said I was telling you what um what my coach said she so she said something about how we compare ourselves to others and she said sometimes you look at somebody and you're like oh I don't like them or oh they're you know I blah 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 blah, blah right and she said but if you think about it what you really think is that you wish that you were doing that or that you had that or that you, it's not. So if you stop and think about that when that happens, maybe it's just because you admire them, maybe. Okay, here's our two so far. We're gonna do one more on this little guy. And I'm gonna use the this little pom-pom. And this comes from um, Hobby Lobby. And it's $2 when it's on sale, and I love it. Welcome, Kathy. Welcome. Miss Rachel, you'll be good, girl. And then you'll have your Easter bunnies to, to do. So I'm just kind of wrapping it. And you don't have to have old spools. You And you can use, actually, if you have something that's cool, um, when you see what I'm going to do with them. Okay. This really is like an imagination craft. Oh, please don't. Okay, so there's just going to be a fight real quick. The dog is in here and the cat's in the hallway. <laughs> the cat is in the hallway. Yes, Rachel, you got a good tribe. Just let Maya keep looking out the window. The cat is in the hallway. Hi, Kristen. There's Hi. Mr. Ed. <laughs> My horse is a horse, of course. Okay, look at how cute that is. Hold on. I think I need to lower this again. I really need help with my lighting. Judy, I think the girls will tell you that if you meet me, okay, so here's what we have. Now, do you see our little themes coming along? What time is it? Oh, we're good, we got 30 minutes. Um, I think if you meet me, I'm just the same. Noelle, am I just the same? <laughs> okay, so while those other things are drying, we're gonna do something else real quick here. And I, I really like this brush, so I kind of use it over and over. <laughs> he was out mowing the lawn. You guys, the sun actually came out, and uh, tomorrow it's going to be gone. But it didn't come out till like 5 o'clock. It didn't come out till like 5. Hi, Michelle. Hey, some Ed. Ada, you're going to have to come see us at the 4th of July. 
Yes, I met Miss Shannon and her mama. I went down to Starbucks and had coffee with her. And Miss Noelle, I met her at a trailer rally. Okay, so I've got just this random piece of cut off fence board. Yes, and Chris and I met at Ocean Shores on the side of the road. Okay, I've just got this random piece of thing. Uh, it's been stained, which now we know from our bunnies. Um, no, Judy, I have nothing's moved in there. I won't move in to live. Uh, well, I mean, um, I'll just move in to have the craft studio. You are, girl, because Fort Lewis is like five minutes away. Oh, thank you, Benita. Okay, so I'm putting some crackle on here, you guys. Does anybody know what I'm doing yet? So I'm going to put some crackle on here, and I put a lot so it's probably gonna take forever to dry. Oh, actually it's kind of soaking in. Ah, let's see how this works on here. Okay. So here's my crackle and I'm gonna set that to the side. Hi, Dina. Hi, Karen. Krista, I don't know. I, Girl, I still need to tile. Okay, so I've got the paper on. And I'm going to uh, do it off. My girl, I love, yes. My girls are amazing. I love them. And John. We can't forget John because we love John too. All right. So I'm just going to scrappy off the stuff here. And remember I have to paint this one because I didn't. spongy brush and I can't get in. <laughs> I <know. laughs> hey, you just got to roll with it, right? You just got to roll with it. I'm having a hard time getting in the edges with this thing, but it's not bad. I don't know where I got it. Okay, one down. cute Kelly oh girl that would be so cute oh we are a great group uh, sometimes we've been called the weeds <laughs> hashtag the weeds <laughs> sunshine girls actually I'm just gonna use my old yucky one because I swear it works better I don't it's like falling apart but no, my nail files aren't sharp enough, you guys. They suck. I need like 50 grit sand, or like, like, yeah, 50 grit sandpaper. I'll get it, I swear. It's all right, it gives my stuff time to dry. Okay, we're good on time. What, Jen? Jen, what? Close. Close. I think, do I have a, because I had a whole bunch of sandpaper up here and I cleaned and now I don't know where it went. Now I'm getting a hot flash. May all your weeds be wildflowers. Yes. And you guys, we've learned so much about dandelions, right? that they're super good for the bees. They make great tea. Um, they're actually like a natural, na naturally path. Na they're good for you. <laughs> they're good for you. You think those are the center of the flowers? Okay, I may have to just come back and get those insides. Um, I just know that I should have more sandpaper. 
Maybe I should have paid more attention when I cut. You guys, I am in love with this paper. There, well, okay, yeah, but you just gotta be careful that nobody's peed on them and there's no pesticides, um, right? Because I, I think that's the first place Maya goes to go to the bathroom. And I feel so bad when I kill him. I do. I try not to. Um, because I know that they're good for the bees. And did you guys hear on the news? So the news sometimes is okay. I know. Where'd you do with my sandpaper, Maya? Ed keeps sneaking in and out. She probably has something. Do they need Maya? They didn't meet Maya. Ed will bring Miss Maya over so you guys can meet her. She's So when I first started, she used to sit right behind me. She's going to bite him. <laughs> can you say hi? Oh, she has something. She has a baggie full of stuff. Can I have it? There's Maya. This is Maya. So precious. She is a hoarder of craft supplies and she's the hoarder of shoes. You guys, she had almost three pairs of shoes up on my lap. Um, and when she brings Ed's like outside work shoes, I'm like, okay, that's enough. We're done. You get that those where those aren't, you're not doing it. <laughs> I'm like, they smell. She, it's just, she has to have something. <laughs> They do. She has to have something. Okay, so now I need to hurry up a little bit. But I love this paper. Okay, flowers. I just got to get this a little bit. Look at now, it's really bad, you guys. Um, she loves beads. Okay. Now I feel like I'm in a rush. I'll take a picture of it and put that up online for you guys. Oh, I know, Felicia. I. It's like um, we live in a life of reels here at this house now. Um, because I, I love watching the animals. Um, and <laughs> there's the cats on... Um, there's the cats on... Instagram and the cat's always like, what the hell? What the hell? <laughs> so now, every time I say that, I'm like, what the hell? I will know well, but that'll be the last thing I do. I know, Shannon. She does like to chew the beads, though. She does. Um, she, the, she, my flip-flops have some, she loves gnomes. Yes, she does. My flip-flops have some teeth marks in them, for sure. Okay, let's put this on here. I'm hoping that we're going to come together real quick. We still got 20 minutes, and everything's getting done. So, yeah, when she would sit behind me, um, everybody could see her keep grabbing things. White. We're doing white. Okay. I had to think for a second. I love the cat reels. I love the cat reels. But my favorite of Maya is when I'm like, Maya, what happened when you got the shot? And she's like, ow. <laughs> and then you guys have, have you guys seen her carry her grocery bags around? Um, she carries the grocery bags around like she is going shopping. She is a hoarder of all things. Okay, you guys, I don't know if this is going to turn out because the... Um, the crackle might have soaked into the wood, but we'll still make it look cute. Okay. I'm going to set it. Uh, actually, I'm just going to dry it because we're going to need it sooner than later. I know. I know. That's why Deanne thinks it's an imposter when, um, when I tell her it's going to be a short craft. She's like, yeah, okay, whatever. 
No, our crackle soaked in. So just so you know, the crackle is not work so good on a raw piece of fence board. Um, yeah, it's not crackling at all. So on a raw piece of fence board, the crackle just soaked right in, so it didn't leave anything. So if you're gonna crackle the fence board, just sand it a tiny bit, but I'll just sand this down and give it kind of the look. Well, now look at that. It works good on the wood. Okay. Okay, we're gonna set that aside and we're gonna come back to our flowers. All right. Your cat is Maya. Okay, so I'm gonna go back to that all that paper that I had and see what's on the other sides of it. All right, so like this one has black and white. So I'm gonna take that and I'm just gonna cut, I want it straight though. Just cut some random pieces off if it's cute. Okay, I don't want that one. Oh, I like this. So I'm just doing just random, you guys. I really like the black polka dot. Hi, Kathy. Hey, girl. Does it, Kristen? Okay. Um, I'm gonna do a circle, kind of an ovally looking thing on that piece. Um, I don't really want that one. All right, let's see what we've got. Okay, so I think I'm gonna take that one there. Let's see, well this one we're gonna put there. Okay, so I also have some fabric, all right? And these are uh, just the little Waverly quarters that you can get like at Joann's. I love to pick these up I, I don't, they used to be 99 cents, you guys. They used to be 99 cents. Um, and then I've got some black and white that I had already had torn for something. I don't know. So I'm going to cut this. So what I'm doing is I'm layering kind of on my flower. And I don't really know what I want until I do it. Um, but again, because all my colors that I picked out are the same, it's gonna go together no matter what I do. So that's the that's why I like to just choose a few colors and put them all together. Okay, I like that. Um, that's like a gray, let's get a little bit of turquoise. What do you guys think? Do you have any questions? Hi, Carla. Hi, Leanne. Do you guys have any questions for me? If you're new, hit my nose and then these buttons up here to follow. And I do have a text number as well. Um, maybe if Miss Noelle's still watching, she'll put it up for me. It's 360-565-5895. <laughs> I have remembered it now. Okay, so I'm gonna do this one just to get a piece of it and then maybe do a circle or like an oval because I can't cut a circle out to save my life. Okay. Do one now, is that, is that too much? No, I think that's cute. And then maybe we'll put that one there. We need one more over here, huh? Let's put Here's a little bit of buffalo plaid we can put here. Hi, Jaquetta. Is that right? Ja How do I say that? Jaquetta. Like Jackie Jaquetta? Jaquetta? Hi, Kay. Hi, Nancy. Nobody has any questions? Okay, well then give me some hearts. Give me some hearts. Give me some love. Um, yeah, that's cute. 
No, that's not cute. Let's put that, no. Let's put that here. Let's make that a little bit smaller. Now, if I wasn't on a time constraint, I'm telling you, I would sit here for hours, okay? I do need something on this one, but I just don't know what. Let's see. I want something like a little bit more turquoisey. So this is the book. So I'm just going to find something. Ah, uh, give me a minute. I don't know, Kelly. Give me a minute. We are not done. We actually have 15 minutes, you guys. 15 minutes. <laughs> Let's do... Like a little random oval. No, I still don't like that. I'm just going to leave it alone. I'm just going to leave it alone. Okay. So I'm going to grab my glue and I'm going to find a finger here. Hold on. Or I will burn myself. I had them earlier. Okay. Thank you, Phyllis. I, I'm, I'm a I'm addicted to fabric. Okay, so I'm just gonna, I'm just putting the dot in the middle and this would look really cute with burlap too, you guys. This would look really cute with burlap. Um, I can hear somebody's lawnmower outside and it does not sound good. Hi, Christy. Welcome from Vegas, girl. Hey, I'm going to be down there pretty soon. All right, so again, just right in the middle. I am going to be down there in May. Okay. I kind of like that one, just the yellow, I guess. Maybe that's why I didn't want to add any more. Y'all know my glue gun's bad, bad. Give me a minute, you guys. Give me a minute. There's more. Now again, this does not have to be perfect. It's actually better if it's not. Okay, now I told you guys this earlier. If you have all these glue strings, you can use your glue, um, your heater or your, uh, your heat gun or your... Um, your heat gun or your uh, hair dryer. Hair dryer. Okay. Okay. Here's the buttons. Here's the buttons. But I gotta grab my other, my other thing of buttons. Let me grab my buttons. See, I wasn't all the way ready. Oh. Because I don't have any, I didn't have any turquoise buttons in my, my um, little buckets. Okay, so now it'll come together quickly. So we've got ten minutes. Okay, on the floor, and we need to find some turquoise buttons, you guys. Let's see. I know I have to have something very close by that I can dump these in. How about we use a lid? That way I can see them still. Okay. Oh, I see one. Okay, here's one. Oh, it's prettier on that side. No, oh, too blue. Hold on. Okay, just holler if you see something. There's some cute yellow ones, you guys, but not too many turquoise ones. I might have to... That one's kind of cute color. Let's 
All right, I think we're we're good. And I can use some black ones. That one's super cute. That one's cute. That one's cute. Okay. Okay. So here's what we have. I have one little daisy. That one's really cute, huh? So I think, oh, these are cute, 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 cute. I think I like that one here, but we could do, we could build it up. What do you guys think of that? He needs something. This one just needs something. It needs a little bit of something. I'll give it something later. Okay. So I think yellow here on this guy. I'm just gonna commit, you guys. I just have to commit. Cause I'll keep changing it. This would be so fun to do this at a craft party um, where you just had a bunch of all the same colors, everything. And Maya, what do you have now? And everybody just gets to like grab what they want and make their flowers however they want. That would be so fun. Okay, I love that. I do not know what she just pulled over, you guys. Did you hear her? <laughs> Did you guys hear her? Um, I think, I think that's cute. I, I think that's cute. I'm gonna whoop her though. Maya, what are you doing? She pulled a whole box of something over. Can you show me what you have? Come here. Can you guys hear her? <laughs> okay. So now, you wonder, I, I did not, I did not have anything that would, um, she is talking to me. I don't know what she's doing. I don't know. She wants something. I did not have anything, uh, that was small enough to go into these little loops. So, but what I did have was some straws. She's being a little brat. And I had one chopstick. Okay. One chopstick. So I, Maya, Hold on, you guys, I gotta throw something at her. What do you have? She wants something and she can't get it. Okay, so I have one chopstick. So let's see. I'm gonna make the big one a little bit taller, okay? So again, improvise with what you have. Now do you guys understand why I said that, oh, that's a lot of glue that you could totally use um, cardboard for this because you're basically covering everything. And in all honesty, I will probably come back and put something on the back, like put a piece of material over it or something. Okay. Okay, we got five minutes, you guys. We got five minutes. Actually, I'm just gonna glue these on because I can cut these off. So I'm just gonna glue the straw, let me, I want to make sure it's kind of cattywampus. Okay. So this one, I'm not going to worry about the height until I put it in there because um, I see I got to paint that side. Okay. Oh my gosh, we're going to make it. Okay. Five minutes. Okay, so then what we're gonna do is we're gonna glue these on here. Oh, I kinda wanna take off these cuteness before I glue it though. Okay, so this one will go in here. 
So I have to glue them. So I have to glue them. So I am just, I don't know why I'm leaving this open, but I'm leaving it open for something. I don't know what. So I'm just gonna, you guys, I'm just gonna commit and we're just gonna glue it. And if I have to, Mr. Ed can cut that other half off or I can cut that other half off. Okay. So I'm not gonna glue that in quite yet because I wanna make sure all my heights are good and my flowers Can you still see? Is that too? I gotta turn around and look at me, you guys. I gotta turn around and look at me. Okay, hold on, I'll show you guys. And I'm not going to glue them in yet because I still want to finish sanding down the sides better. Oh, I kind of want, hold on. I'm kind of going to move that right there. That's a good thing about that tree is it just let me move that, that board. Okay. Eek. But we're not done yet. What do you guys think? What do you guys think of my flower garden? Okay. Now... Hold up real quick. So I've got my material. Are you guys gonna make one? Let me know if you guys are gonna make one. So I've got my material and I'm just gonna rip it down. Big piece of this one. Okay. Because I don't have any leaves, right? So I need some leaves. Okay, we got one minute. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tie these around here. So it has a couple little leaves on it. Yay! Isn't she lovely? Okay, you guys, hold on, and I am gonna pin uh, Christy's um, Christy's page for y'all. And I cannot wait to go see what she makes. And while I'm watching her, I'm gonna finish this. Yes, you guys need to make these, and there's so many different things um, that you can do with them, like different colors and different ideas and use whatever you have around the house and um, all the stuff. So if you're new and you like me, please be sure to follow. And um, I'm definitely a little crazy and you never know what I'm gonna make um, or what it's gonna end up, but okay. Here's uh, the link to Christie's. I don't know if that's the way I'm supposed to do it. Um, that's the way that I've done it before. So um, if you want to hop on over there and go watch her, and then I will uh, get this finished while I'm watching her, and I will take a picture. Kristen, they came from my Glowforge, girl. But you could use anything. They came from my Glowforge. Thank you, Krista. Thank you, guys. Thanks for hanging out with me um, for the second time today. And uh, <laughs> I'll see you later. All right, I'll see you over on Christie's page. So, all right, I love you guys. Bye.